My name is Chandra Irvin. I am with the Austin Police Department. I've been a sergeant for 16 years. Well, the story behind Smokey is when I was working loss prevention, I was in the Army, and I had a second job working loss prevention at a store called Old Navy, and I was always catching thieves. So I was kind of like the sheriff, so people kind of gave me the name of Smokey and the Bandit. So when I came here to Austin Police Department, you had to give all your aliases and other last names. And I told my recruiter that the nickname of Smokey, and so she just went with it, and so everybody continues to call me Smokey. The favorite part of my job uh, has been uh, just going out in the community and just interacting with the people in the community that I serve. As long as I've been on the force as a patrol officer, there would be times that I would be driving around and I'd see people on their porch in the community that I patrol and I would just get out of my car and just go start talking with them and conversating with them and then that way we, we kind of, I kind of forced a, like somewhat of a relationship with them so when they would see me pass, uh, they, I'd wave and they'd say, hey, Smokey, or I'd go out to some of the other communities and take bags of candies, and when the children would see me coming, they, they knew I had candy, so they were ready to jump out and get some of that candy and, and uh, just shoot basketball with them for a few minutes or so. So that was, that's been one of the most um, fulfilling parts of the job, other than coming to calls for service and helping other victims. What it is to mentor younger officers, for, for one thing, if you're chosen to do that, I was chosen to be an FTO, it is such a fulfilling job because it's two-pronged. One, you want to put an officer out there that's going to do good in the community and follow uh, the, the law and, and help others in the law. Two, because you're mentoring and training that officer, then that officer has your stamp on it. And so whatever that officer does, it's kind of like an extension of what you do. So you really put a lot into being a field training officer. You really put a lot into mentoring, uh, even, uh, even now that I'm not a field training officer, to, to have young officers on my shift to sit down and talk to them and tell them, you know, we're, we're hired as peace officers. That will, that's what we want to do. So make sure when you're going out there, you, you uh, hold on to that being a peace officer being a peace officer in your community, getting to know the people that you serve. It doesn't have to be so much personal or anything like that, but if you go down one street and you say, there's Joe and his family, and you know that because you've had that conversation with him, you know the little boy, and you, you've handed out those little police badge stickers, and you, you forged some type of bond with him. 